you need two sheets of paper, a ruler, some scissors, a pencil, and some tape. Using one sheet of paper, cut out a square that measures two inches by two inches. Using your pencil on the right edge of your square, you are going to draw a line that goes from one corner on that right edge to the other corner on that right edge. Try not to go to a different edge of your square. Stay on the same edge. Carefully cut off that piece from the edge of your square. You are now going to slide that piece over to the left side of your square. Make sure that when you slide the piece over that it literally slides straight across. You don't want any of the pieces not to match. So, for example, if you pick up your paper piece and you flip it accidentally, the pieces don't line up. Tape the pieces together, draw and cut a piece from the top side of your square, and just like we did to the right side, you're going to move your top piece that you cut off down to the bottom side. Again, making sure that they line up completely straight down. Then of course, taping that piece down to the bottom together to make your original shape for your tessellation. Using your other sheet of paper in a 10 by 8 inch square or rectangle, you are going to trace your original piece onto your paper. So the easiest way to do this is to find the original corner of your tiny square and line it up to the corner of your 8 by 10 inch paper. Then you can take your pencil and trace your original shape onto your paper. And what's going to end up happening is you're going to create like a puzzle piece. And so you can slide your original piece over and line it up into the trace marks that you have traced on the paper. So as you can see, I'm tracing the puzzle piece or the original shape. You can even slide it in any direction and be able to trace it onto the paper. Trace your original piece until you fill up your entire 8 by 10 inch sheet of paper. So I just took a scratch sheet of paper or a scrap sheet of paper and I traced my original shape onto that paper. The orientation of your shape doesn't really matter, the orientation of the paper doesn't matter because what you're going to end up doing is you're going to find an image or you're going to move your paper around to figure out what that shape looks like. Once you've figured out what your shape looks like, you need to draw your image in every single shape on your 8 by 10 inch paper. The easiest way to make the exact same image is by finding a window, tape your image down first, and then align your 8 by 10 inch paper with the shape through the window so that way you can see through and trace your image. So using the window, you're going to trace your image in every single shape that is on your 8x10 inch paper. And once you finish that, you are done with your tessellation and you have filled in the entire page.